Queen Elizabeth II lost her favorite grandchild, maybe forever. How did it happen and why is there no way back? For many people, it was a surprise that Prince Harry, not the future King William, is the Queen's favorite grandchild. However, their closeness was always evident. And Elizabeth did a lot of favors for both Harry and Meghan. What kind of concessions did the couple receive from Her Majesty? How did their relationship change after the Sussexes' exit? And why is Prince Harry risking the precious bond with his grandmother in favor of his wife's dream of becoming a Hollywood star again? Although Queen Elizabeth didn't show her sadness and sorrow, insiders reveal this was her main heartbreak in the past few months. And she is waiting for Harry's return with open arms. Her Majesty said she did everything she could for Meghan, but obviously it wasn't enough for the young family. The Queen made a lot of exceptions for Markle, even when she was only Harry's girlfriend, not a bride or wife. But why was she so kind to Meghan? Despite the fact she was an American Hollywood actress, divorced and a bit older than Harry, the Queen saw her grandson was in love and did her best to comfort him and his partner. Once, she broke royal tradition by allowing Markle to attend the royal family's Christmas Day service and dinner at her Sandringham estate before they were married. And later, there was another impressive favor. Her Majesty invited Meghan's mother, Doria, to spend Christmas with the royals. She never did that for Kate. So why was Harry ready to quit the royal family after all those concessions and the Queen's commitment, the decision was not easy for him at all. Can you remember how Harry's voice was shaking when he made his exit speech not as a prince, but as a man? He was worried not about his title, but about his grandmother, the Queen. I will always have the utmost respect for my grandmother, my commander-in-chief. Tearfully, Harry said there was no other option to receive peace and a possibility to ensure his son has a normal future. He decided to step back as a prince and duke, but not as a family member. I've accepted this knowing that it doesn't change who I am or how committed I am. But how did Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth managed to build such a warm relationship? And why is the relationship of Prince William and his grandmother more business than family? Many people think that Prince William is the Queen's favorite because he is a future King of England, more serious and calmer. He works very closely with his grandmother almost every day and the Queen has spent much of her life mentoring him for the day he will take the throne. But it is precisely this closeness that has played a cosmic trick on Prince William. Reportedly, the mentoring has made communication between the two much more serious than it is with her other grandchildren. A royal insider said, Prince William and the Queen's relationship is half family and half business. So, does it mean that Prince Harry is more loved by the Queen only because of his lower title in the royal family? Actually, it doesn't matter. Her Majesty's heart can't choose by titles, but there is a special place only for Harry with all of his tricks. Compared to William, Harry is more dear to the Queen. His relationship with the Queen is a lot more fun, and grandson to grandmother, they are very close. Over the years, 
Harry and the Queen have been pictured joking and laughing with each other, and their special bond has only seemed to strengthen over time. Oh, we hope they won't lose it. Italians say, if nothing is going well, call your grandmother. That saying is totally about Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth II. Of course, he made a brave step to protect his own family. But it's good to know that he will always be welcomed back. Have you noticed the special bond between Harry and Her Majesty before? And do you think they will manage to save it in the future?